Andrew Gillis here with Leica Geosystems Atlantic Region for Canada. I'm here at the Maple Building in Halifax to show you our new premium mid-range GNSS sensor. The GS05 is lightweight and compact and uses our award-winning calibration-free magnetically immune tilt technology. Today I'll be controlling the rover with a CS30 field tablet and the GKP100 Bluetooth keypad. The GKP100 is a lightweight Bluetooth keypad. It resembles our CS20 controller keypad and it just slides into our holder plate, locks into place, and pairs with the CS30. I'm gonna power these on and head outside to start the survey. The lot next door to the Maple is a construction site for another high rise in downtown Halifax. Today I'll be doing a topo survey of the patio, replicating construction site conditions with tall buildings around, obstructing satellites, and creating a high multipath environment. Connected to GS sensor. I've created my job, so I'll go into my job properties and confirm my coordinate system details. Today I'm surveying in Halifax, so we'll pick the MTM West Zone 5 coordinate system. We'll store that and then start the RTK stream to connect to the SmartNet reference network. RTK initialized. Once we have a fixed solution at the rover, I'll introduce some motion to the pole to engage the tilt sensor. Tilt compensation started. You'll notice a tilt status bar beneath the green bubble showing you the strength of your tilt engagement. Now that everything's turned on and verified, we're ready to start our survey. Point stored. 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 The idea behind this survey was to replicate a concrete foundation as built Point on a construction stored. site. So I've taken a series of measurements that approximate those structures, as you can see in the Leica Captivate 3D viewer. Next, I'll import the raw data into Leica Infinity. We'll verify the coordinate system and turn on hexagon imagery. This is my reference station on the Leica building in Dartmouth and down here in downtown Halifax is where we performed our survey. You can see the baselines from the reference station in blue. I'll go into my layer manager and turn those off to get them out of my way. Next, I'll zoom in on the site where you can see all of the measurements from the GSO5 on the Maple patio. I'll move to 3D, pan around, zoom in again, and turn off my imagery to get a closer look at the structures. RTK data link down. RTK initialization lost. Till compensation stopped. 